Hello everyone and welcome back to another video with Oscar Lars Painting Studio. A while back we did a first impression review video of Redgrass Games products as they were kind enough to send us loads of them. Now that I've been using them for several months, I wanted to do a review of the actual products as I've been putting them through critical use and we're going to be able to see what held up and what didn't. I hope you're gonna enjoy this video. Let's begin. The first thing that I like to review are some of my favorite products here for red grass, and the, they are the uh, the brushes. Um, I really like these brushes. Um, I think that they hold their quality pretty well now that I've been using them for a while, and um, they come in size two and size double zero. Um, and they come packaged like this, which is really nice. And if you watched my previous video of this, uh, you've seen uh, some of these products already as they got shipped to me and was my first impression. Uh, these brushes are um, made from uh, Kalinske Sable, which is the same material, for example, as uh, Winsor Newton Series 7. Uh, they're a little bit of a shorter handle to them, um, which, as I have been using them, I find that I didn't really care about the length of the handle. Uh, sometimes it's a weight uh, issue, but they're very, very lightweight. They don't really have a lot of... Uh, they don't have a lot of weight to them. Um, when you take the, take it off, um, sort of wet the brush a little bit first to kind of clean it up. It's got a very nice tip to it. Uh, got a nice spring. And as I've been using these, uh, I'm gonna give you an example right here. Here's a double zero that I have been using and it is very worn down and I've been using a tweezer to kind of pick out the hairs that start to spread from the brush. And I gotta be honest with you, I, I find this very fascinating. It holds a very fine tip and, and this is what I did, for example, the neon lettering tutorial with. This is the brush. So, so I find use for the ones that, I, that, that, have been, um, that have been worn down, which is really nice. Now, I, don't, I, I can't say that all of the brushes kind of react this way. Some of the other brushes I've had has not reacted this way. But what I do like about these brushes is that it doesn't become worn down at the tip, but it keeps a tip very well. Some brushes have a tendency of becoming like a round uh, tip to it, which makes doing detail work much much harder uh, these do not so I, I really like these brushes in terms of the way that they keep their shape and the way that they kind of can find new uses for them as they get worn down uh, this is their standard painting handle um, I got a few of these uh, from Redgrass and I find them to be very they're very good um, I paint so many miniatures, however, that I find these two... I don't use them as often, painting handles in general, as much as a person who's painting, you know, single miniatures spends months painting them. Uh, but when I do paint uh, single miniatures, if it's small character, then I really like to use these. If they're larger characters, I use the GW painting handle because it, it, it has a larger um, sort of top to it that can the base sort of adhere uh, adheres it clips in but but it, it can hold a bigger base these cannot really hold uh too large of a base which is one of the downsides with them um other than that i think the handle is really nice it holds very well so i usually hold them like this and and sort of screw like that so i'm holding on to this while i paint and i can sort of navigate very well uh, using my thumb and by my uh, pointing finger. That's what it's called. Not sure. Um, but other than that, there's a little bit of weight to them. Not too much weight, um, but very nice. And that brings me into one of their new products that are coming out, uh, which I am very intrigued by. It's their new painting handle. It's, it's dark blue. It's navy blue. And it comes in the package with an extra cap, okay? And I, I, I really like this because here's essentially what the product can do. You can actually take it off. 
and means that you can paint multiple figures with one single painting handle and you can just trade them in and out as you paint uh, which is really nice. Otherwise it functions the same way as the gray painting handle, the sort of standardized painting handle. Another thing that they've also added is a magnet sheet. As you can see it clips on really well to it. Um, and it's got a a uh, uh, adhering tape to it so you can actually peel this off and stick it down to your table or your painting mat which means that when it's sitting on the table you can essentially put the painting handle down and it won't fall over so it protects your miniature which is brilliant right it's uh, uh, yeah I, I, I think it was something that a lot of people found missing or something with something so skinny and tall that you know it fell over every once in a while I had that problem and here they are solving it which is fantastic and they also added this little feature um, using uh, the, the cap to be able to replace certain um, uh, certain you know times when you're painting multiple miniatures you can you can take the cap off and put another miniature on there without actually removing it from this little putty right here that you get nicely packaged that comes with this uh, painting handle so I believe that this is going on Kickstarter now in June it might even have started but it's on Kickstarter which is awesome so go in and, and and if you're interested in buying a painting handle I really recommend this it's very nice it's well made and this new these new additions are awesome I supported uh, one of Redgrass first uh, Redgrass games first Kickstarters uh, I bought their uh, Everlasting Palette, the, the, the Studio XL size, and I've been using it ever since, and that was like two and a half years ago. So I highly recommend their, 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 their products. And lastly, I'm going to talk about the uh, Precision Nippers. And these are absolutely fantastic for what they're meant for. And I say that because I had I took these to the test. I wanted to see how crazy could I go? What could they withstand? And they say on the package, you know, don't cut with the tips, cut a little bit inwards, and they're meant for delicate pieces. All right. So I took one of my uh, spare ones and I took it to Necromunda Columns and Walls. And this is what I ended up with. So knowing what they are meant for, uh, don't break yours. Uh, this is definitely not Redgrass Games product failure. I want to make that clear. This is uh, me trying to see how far could I go and I clipped some serious pieces off with this thing. They were thick and bulky uh, and that's why it broke. It didn't break because it's poor quality, it broke because it's not meant to cut big thick pieces with. It's meant to be delicate, so you take your other clipper, you, for example, you have a, a sort of a games workshop right here um, that you cut bigger, thicker pieces with. It's more durable, but it leaves more sort of residue on uh, when you clip. This is much more of a cleaner edge. So this is meant for delicate pieces. This is meant for bulkier, whichever one you're using. I definitely want to Highly recommend, which I've done for years, the Everlasting Wet Palette. It's so large, it doesn't even fit inside the screen here. Um, but it's fantastic. Um, here you can see I've been using lots of different paints uh, as I've been painting uh, my little commission that I'm working on right now. Um, and it fits, you know, like you pick a corner, you put some paint down and you can sort of spread out and mix. and. You can see I got a little mix right here and you can kind of put down paints. Now, one of the things that you want to know is that, and, and that I've been brought to attention is some people don't like this paper. And from what I understand, it may be because um, the water rises from the sponge up into the paint, saturates it with water and essentially breaks down as you can kind of see here is you can see that it's broken down the paint is the so a lot of the pigments are on the side here and it's a little hard to see 
there it's maybe a better view you can see it's kind of broken up the different pigments uh, and if I use the bottom here you can see that it mixes it to a different color here that's a natural occurrence with the paint it separates it doesn't have to do with the paper it doesn't have to do with the sponge it simply has to do with the natural way that paint works the vehicle of the paint and the pigments separate naturally and it happens more to some pigments than others um, now whatever works best for you i'm not telling you to use a specific thing but whatever works best for you you should do I really like this paper uh, because it, it, it doesn't curl. One of my biggest concerns that I have with wet palettes that I, when I built my own, when I used other types of wet palettes, is that the paper just curled up at the end and I had to you know, use some water and spread it out and that was a big hassle for me to do every morning that I got into, um, that I got into the studio. This doesn't, this stays like this for quite a while which is fantastic. Um, so I really recommend this product as well. I really recommend all of their products, honestly. I haven't had a lot of issues with it at all, um, except for the nippers, which again was my uh, fault. So why, if, if you guys are looking for a new wet palette, new nippers, new brushes, why don't you check them out? Try them for yourself, see how they function. And lastly, I want to make it clear, I am not paid by Redgrass to say these things. I do this because I really like the company, I think they're fantastic people, I think that their products are great, and I want to give this video out to people that are maybe researching what are good products for me to use. Are there other things, maybe some of the things aren't working as well as the things that they're using currently, and they're out scouting for other products. Well. I recommend these products and if they work for you, fantastic. If they don't, then you keep searching. I hope you guys find this review useful. If you guys want to go check out the Redgrass Games Kickstarter, uh, there's going to be links in the description down below. You can follow those. If you want to buy any of their uh, products that are currently not on Kickstarter, you can go down and, and find the link to oscarlars.com shop. If you go and use those links to buy the products, Redgrass Games supports our tutorial project. So for the products that you buy for the same amount of price, they actually give a little bit of money towards our project. So you, without spending any of your own money towards our project, by buying products from them, you support us. And we really thank you if you decide to do so. All right, guys, that's it for this video. I hope you guys uh, have a lot of fun painting and find some use for this new product. Happy painting!